Team, what's happening? We're talking sprawls today. Simple, effective movement. And there's a couple common errors that we see with this one that we wanna talk about and touch on real quick, and then we're gonna get into it. So first of all, the movement. Your feet are gonna start either hip width or shoulder width, whatever is fairly comfortable, don't overthink that. You're gonna drop the hands down to the ground, nice hinge position, so they're stacked over your shoulder in a good push up. Kick the feet out, stay nice and tight through that core and glutes. Jump the feet back in, jump at the top. Yes, jump at the top. If you're gonna do a real sprawl, you need to jump at the top of the movement, all right? So, common errors that we see. Hands coming out a little bit too far. So as I come down, I reach for that ground out here, and then when I come back into that sprawl, kind of in a funky push-up position, I'm not stacked over like I should be. So don't let yourself get into that position. And then the most important one, the one that makes this movement effective or not effective, the one that could cause some injury if you do too many of these, is that tight core position. In no fitness world should we be soft and lazy in the core. And when we say core, we talk about the front core, the six pack, the sexy stuff, and then the back, all right, through the erectors. We want to stay tight in that position. It starts with our glutes and being able to control that while you're breathing heavy. So as I drop down, I bring my feet out. I can walk or jump. And then this is a nice tight core position. This is an ugly core position, all right? So a few bad reps. As you see, I'm just sinking down in my hips. That's what happens maybe when you get a little bit lazy, but you wanna come out with force. You wanna come out with tight through the glutes and the core, something like this. So now I'm upright, I'm taut, my core is turned on, my upper back is rounding a little bit, and I'm not letting myself sag down into this position. So I'm here, but I'm still able to breathe. And then jump back up. Staying tight wall you're able to breathe is something you will need to practice. In the beginning, the common thing is going to be to go down there, hold your breath at the bottom, try to breathe at the top. You're going to do about five to seven of these. You're going to be smoked. So that takes practice, not only in this movement, but other movements. Lots of info out there on back squatting, learning how to breathe and brace while you're under tension. So very similar here. It's just the tension of our body weight. Have fun with the sprawls. Hit a hundred of them for time. Let us know how it goes. Just kidding. If you have any questions, comments, leave them below.